It's Andre from the High Performance Academy and I'm here with Robbie from AIM to talk about their brand new dash loggers and displays. Now AIM are already well known for their displays. Their product here at PRI is all brand new. It's so new it's not even on their website yet. The first product Robbie that caught my eye was this amazing MXG display which is obviously full colour as well. Can you uh, talk me through the, the product and tell me what's new with it? Well, the, the color display is a 420 lumens, and the, the size of it is absolutely stunning. When you put this in the car, it will be the attention grabber. Um, with the system, we're able to download and record information just like we've always done, but we've also added a few new flares to it, um, built-in Wi-Fi so that we'll be able to download without a download cable or change configurations while having coffee in the morning. Um, so just a few things that we're able to add to our, our current uh, Sterling record in data acquisition. That, that Wi-Fi download, that sounds like a really great function. That, that seems quite unique as well. I haven't seen it on the market with anyone else. Is that, is that new just to you? I believe it is. It's not. We're not the first ones to try it. Uh, I think we're the first ones to actually implement uh, the Wi-Fi capabilities. It's going to allow us to um, either send configuration changes or just a simple driver change that and he wants to look at different information um, can all be done while they're setting up. Uh, there's no need to have another person in the way um, with the system. I mean, from a tuner's perspective, I hate cables, so anything that can get away from cables, I'm a big fan of. Talk us through the, uh, the warning lights and everything else that you can set up on this MXG display. Well, we, we employ RGB LEDs now uh, for our shift lights as well as our alarm LEDs. So with that, we can, we can write larger logic statements for each one of those lights. Uh, if, we want, um, if we want an alarm light to be blue until we warm up the, the car, and just know that it's not going to go 100% throttle until this light goes off. Um, before we used to have to write a light just for that. Um, now it can be blue until it warms up, it can be off for normal operating temperature, and then as it goes into a higher um, temperature rating, uh, it can go yellow and then phase into a red. And it's going to allow you to control one alarm light for a larger logic statement. So if you want to turn on fans at a specific temperature, it can be yellow just to let you know that, that it's time to turn the fans on. But if that same event happens when it hits 230 degrees, we now have to turn, we, we now have to get off the track. It'll, it'll be red at that point. So it, it gives you more freedom with each alarm LED. In terms of logging with the MXG, what, what's available there? Well, we're going to use the systems, um, we're going to ship the systems with one main harness. The, the main harness is um, the, the Motosport connector that we employ in all of our new, new systems. And it'll have four analog inputs, uh, two CAN buses, one proprietary that we use for extending onto um, all of our products that, that we add to it, uh, channel expansions or Lambda controllers or um, Smarty Cam video systems. But the secondary harness will have a third CAN bus that allows us to um, really tinker with how we're going to be setting up data. Um, if, if you have a custom project that you're using and it simulates a CAN output, you can, now, you can now record that data. You can now display that information and it'll be part of your data acquisition. Now if you have a, a rigid template and you want to go to um, an Adaptronic or an AEM system. We already have done. We've already done the work on those systems, so we, we can tell you we we're, we'll give you 47 ECU channels. This is what we know we can do. It's on every single ECU. So with the three CAN buses, there's a lot more flexibility um, and a lot more expandability. So if someone wanted to do the work, they could actually write their own CAN template to talk to a factory ECU or ABS computer or something like that. Exactly. So instead of choosing between an ABS control module or an ECU, we can now do both. Um, you can either use our templates that we've already gone through and designed, or you can user define your own templates for something that we might have not never thought of. Now, price point on this, this dash, it, it looks like a really high-end dash, although I understand it is still really affordable. What, what are we sort of looking at for one of these? The MXG is going to retail for $2,600, uh, and we're going to be including the GPS module with, with it. So with that GPS module, we're doing track mapping, track timing, things like that? Absolutely. Track mapping, um, we'll do lap timing, um, start finish line coordinates, as well as um, uh, axial accelerometers for track pad assessments, and, and we'll be able to implement video tracks um, onto, like, uh, I'm sorry, we'll be able to incorporate track maps onto our video systems. 
that seems like a, a lot of product for the money. Now you also mentioned the Autosport or Motorsport connectors on the back of that and I understand that these are now universal so basically they're, they're across the board of your products uh, compatible? Yes, um, our, our new lineup is going to run the same harnesses and the same pinouts that um, they, they're, they're technically um, identical. So uh, if you have a an MXL an MXL2 or an MXG system, they'll you'll be able to unplug it and plug in another data acquisition system without having to rewire the car, without having to go through all those extra steps for upgrading. Now I'll just clear up that we, we did talk earlier though, they're not backward compatible with your older MXL dashes, so if you've got one of those dashes, you want to upgrade to one of your brand new dashes, you will have to do some wiring there, correct? Yes, this is all, this is all uh, new technology for us, it's all very um, next gen material, so to do that we needed, uh, we needed a fresh template, we needed to start fresh and, and that's how we can make everything unique at, from, this, from going forward, it, what we're going we're trying to make it as easy as possible to get a new data logging system or just to replace the data logging system in your car. Okay, so the MXG is your sort of top of the line dash logging product. Uh, let's talk about the MXL2. MXL2 is um, so the same, I mean, from uh, on a spreadsheet, you're going to look at both of these and say, this is the same data logger. Um, four analog inputs from the main harness, two digital speeds, um, and two cans. Um, then the auxiliary harness is going to have another four analog inputs, two digital speeds, and the user-defined CAN bus. So um, technical, technically speaking, they're, they're identical. The, MXL employs a more road race um, LCD system, and it's got a two-stage backlight, so it's a it's a vibrant white, and then um, it also has a red backlight option. Now, the we tied the red backlight option into um, the alarm section. So, if you wanted to switch over to a red backlight uh, given a certain event, that's something that we can we can accommodate for, as well as uh, text on on alarms. So, if you want to tell your driver to um, get off the track or turn on the fans, uh, you can do that now without having to be on. The the radio with them it's it'll be it'll be discussed on the data logger so in, in essence very similar product in terms of its technical capability slightly different form factor and uh, we, we don't get that cool full color LCD display it's also a cheaper product though price point on that price point on the MXL2 is going to be $19.99 and we're still going to include the GPS module with that system as well so that's pretty good value for money there. Now, you've also got an enclosed logger that has no display. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The Evo 5 is a great system. Um, if space is an issue, the, it's, it's very small, it's very lightweight, it's everything that you'd want in a data logging system and nothing that you don't. Because we don't have to, we, we employ an SD card for, um, for memory requirements on that system. It, you're not, you're limited, the size is universal and the size that is user defined. If you want a 120 gig SD card for your, your, your storage needs, it's something that you can get. It could be an eight gig, it can be a 16 or a 32, and it, the, the size will not change. And that's how we can get the, the actual unit to be so small. So again, this, this uh, unit also uses the same connectivity as the dashes, so again, it's compatible or you can upgrade it, et cetera, with you, without having to rewire the whole car. Yes, the, the dashes will be different for the Evo 5. What we'll do is is just allow the, the, the end user to pick a dash that he thinks will work best in his situation, and the dash won't have any recording functionality. It will just simply display what the end user wants to see, um, which is a little bit different than our MXG systems. We, we don't need two, two brains. We just need one, one display, one data logging system, which is what the Evo 5 provides. With the Evo 5 using the SD card for storage, do we lose the ability to do Wi-Fi downloads? No, we still we have still included the Wi-Fi capabilities in the Evo 5 system, so um, you'll, you'll have an either or option. And the same with our MXG, we still have the download cable option. Uh, some people will not have Wi-Fi capabilities or, or, the, or you know, the laptop goes down and we don't have Wi-Fi any longer, so um, we'll still have the, the more archaic method of, of USB download solutions. And price point on their Evo 5 product? The Evo 5 product is it's up in the air because the system itself is going to retail for about $1,300 for the Evo 5, but the dash options are going to be unique. We'll have a couple different dash options um, that, will, that will increase or decrease the price. If you want something that's very basic, just gives you lap times, um, and you're going to use the, the system for more of a data analysis, then we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to 
accommodate. And then if you want a large display, maybe even a color display, something like the MXG system, we'll be able to do that as well. So as the displays increase, the, the price will increase. Now these products, uh, again, they're, they're brand new. Are they available for the public just now? As of right now, everything you see here is a 2014 release. So um, we we don't have part numbers or price. Or, uh, we don't have part numbers or availability of any of this product. Um, but for from a release standpoint, we're looking at uh, February release. So so get on that newsletter, sign up, and and as soon as they become available, we'll you, you will know. And if people out there do want to get on your newsletter, how would they do that? Uh, aimsports.com and you go to the support center and uh, one of the options is to um, sign up for our newsletter. Also you could download it, any of our free software and uh, once installing it the option is built into the software in uh, installer. Hey that's great Robbie, look these are some cool products, we can't wait to see them hit the market. Thanks for having a chat to us. Yeah, no problem, thank you. For online tuning courses visit learntotune.com.